Kids are scared their kids are falling behind while distance learning, especially when it comes to learning how to read. And tonight's learning curve, CBS 13's Marley Ginter shows us the red flags you need to look for to make sure your child makes the grade. The E is silent. Yes. That face to face interaction can be critical when kids are learning how to read, but that went out the window with distance learning. He was falling behind in his reading. As a parent, you kind of know. Um, when they're struggling a little bit. Tracy Garcia enrolled her son at Huntington Learning Center. She's one of many parents worried about her child learning how to read over Zoom. They're all talking at the same time. Nobody can hear anything, so they're real distracted. So they do have their mics off a lot of time during the day, which they wouldn't have in class. They'd all be able to talk. I got to see the difference firsthand. We do have use a lot of pictures um, to help solidify the beginning, middle, ending sound. How children could be learning how to sound out words through a grainy picture and sound glitches. This has got to be a challenge when it comes to teaching a child how to read. Yes, yes. No, and, and I think it's it's really hard because through Zoom, we only have one way. They're really using their ears and their eyes. And at this grade level, we need different ways to teach kids. While most schools set standards like wanting your child to know 100 sight words by first grade, Peralta says there are red flags you can look for. Your child cries when it's time to read. They guess at words when reading aloud, or they skip past instructions on their video games. Distance learning, throwing a wrench in reading. You have to get creative. You're right. I mean, sometimes it's a, you know having them focus. Sometimes the, the screen share, or they have to look really closely. A reading tutors say parents shouldn't get too caught up in their child not being able to read at the same level as other students. I know as parents we get caught up in that. Don't. Every student learns how to read at a different pace.